Hey, good morning, my friends. I'm live chief meteorologist Mark Torregrossa here. Hopefully this is coming through to you. It seems like the internet, internet a little bit slow today. Um, so this is the MLive morning weather update, and we are going to have to talk about severe weather. Quite a bit going on, so let's get right on into it. Let's start with the radar and the first batch of thunderstorms. This first batch of thunderstorms will be heading toward western Michigan uh, probably in about two hours. That's not a, that, that is a good time, I should word it, as for storms to be on the lower end of severe weather, not as robust as something in the late afternoon and the evening hours, which is when we're basically watching for the worst part of the storms. But here you can see, and the one good thing you notice about this is with that almost bowing echo of thunderstorms from, uh, let's say, Appleton, Wisconsin, down to uh, around Madison, northwest of Madison, northeast of Madison. Um, no warnings in effect with that. They recorded about a 40 mile an hour gust. So that's heading toward Ludington, Manistee, um, Pentwater, Whitehall, Muskegon, probably 10 to 11 o'clock or so, something like that. Now, let's get into a little bit larger perspective. Um, Karen Richard, Brighton would be in the area that's in unstable, most unstable for the afternoon. We'll get into that in uh, just a few minutes here. Hey, good morning. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torgross. If you're just joining us on the weather update, I'm going to talk about severe weather today, and I'm going to talk about when it ends and get into the weekend. So just hang with me and let's have some weather fun. How does that sound? And if you could hit the share button. Uh, we'd uh, appreciate it very much. So your first little segment of thunderstorms, but then as you look back into Minnesota, you see thunderstorms and they don't look all that ominous, but you superimpose that over our area when we've built the heat and humidity um, this afternoon. And that's when you get into the severe weather. So this is the forecast from the Storm Prediction Center. I lost my screen. Bear with me a second. Okay, so we're back. Um, so the, oh, what a color is that? Orange shaded area is the level three on a five level system of severe weather. So basically through the southern half of the thumb to uh, Flint to Grand Rapids south and east. That's where you're greatest chance of more significant severe weather is today. If we go to their tornado forecast, <clears throat> excuse me, they put about a 5% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of any point in, again, that same area. Oh, my, <laughs> my screen share keeps dropping out. Hope this isn't a sign of the times today. <clears throat> Okay, so tornadoes possible in that enhanced area. A damaging wind gust. Same area, Southern Thumb, all of Detroit, Ann Arbor, through Lansing, Grand Rapids, and into the south. And then surrounding it, still a chance of uh, isolated damaging wind gusts. And then large hail a large area from Saginaw to maybe Muskegon southward. Note that they do not forecast, like the last severe weather outbreak, they forecasted two inch hail or greater by showing us these little black dashed lines. They don't forecast that in this case, but that doesn't mean that it couldn't happen isolated. So in this case, the hail would be um, more widespread, we would have more reports of it, but even widespread hail is still fairly isolated. So we'd have more reports of hail, but we wouldn't have as large of reports of hail, but we could have, uh, you know, an isolated large hail event. <clears throat> okay, so here's current satellite picture. I've superimposed the uh, upper airflow over it for you and you see that disturbance in Wisconsin heading toward Michigan. So pretty apparent that we're gonna get quite stormy. 
Now we go into the high resolution rapid refresh model. And give you the timeline. Okay. Boy, I'm just all thumbs today. Here we go. Um, here's the high resolution rapid refresh. We go to 11, noon, 1 o'clock. Uh, so thunderstorms arriving in northern lower Michigan uh, a couple of hours from now. And then as we go through the afternoon, this is 3, 4, 5, 6. So anywhere between 2 o'clock, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hey, good morning, East Point. Uh, 11, midnight. So basically, second half of the afternoon and this evening, it's going to be pretty nasty and stormy. If you have to travel at that time, you might want to think about you know, doing it ahead of time or waiting until it comes to an end in the latter second half of the evening. Here's a high resolution. Hey, let me grab something here for you. This just coming in. This is the new high resolution rapid refresh. Remember, it comes in every hour. So we just got the newest update. So this is 11 o'clock, noon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine. So it's definitely going to be a second half of the afternoon and evening stormy period. Here's your rainfall forecast off of that. And some of these rainfalls could be very heavy. Yes, Rachel Bancroft. Ooh, no. Yes, that's what's nice about the high resolution rapid refresh. Rapid refresh means it comes in more often than the other models. The other models every six hours, uh, this one every hour. So you're looking at an inch of rain in the southern half with streaks of two to four inches of rain. Jesse Manberg, what time will it be near the thumb? I would say three, four, five o'clock. So, okay. And now what happens after we get by this one? I wrote something yesterday that we're in our derecho season. Uh, would this constitute a derecho? Remember, it has to be a path length of 240 miles or longer that does you know, considerable damage with 58 mile an hour wind gusts. So it could develop into one this afternoon as it continues down into Ohio and New York overnight. Beverly Paddock, what time for Dearborn? I would say Dearborn, you're in the four to seven time period. Something like that. Hey, good morning, Muskegon. Uh, Kylie Aldridge, yes, uh, tornadoes, isolated tornadoes ahead of the main line. Depends on how this line of thunderstorms develops. If it develops into a line, it's more of a straight line wind event. If we get isolated big thunderstorms ahead of that line, then those are the ones that can often produce uh, an isolated tornado and uh, larger Hail. Okay, so uh, we have another one coming. So this is our storm system for today. And then it looks like Friday night into Saturday. Friday after, This is Friday morning into afternoon, Friday afternoon into evening, Friday uh, late evening. So it looks like another one of these severe complexes coming out of the northwest for uh, late Friday into Saturday morning. Saturday, this is the middle of the day Saturday. If we get a complex of storms Friday night, Saturday will let. And this model wants to indicate maybe another little quick one Saturday night. And the, then the cold front is through, drier air, cooler air. As we get in the next week, it looks beautiful. This is next Tuesday. And Wednesday, we cool down, and then we shift to somewhat warmer 
as the next disturbances come on through the area. So you'll see that in the temperature forecast. Uh, today, 90 at the border, that fuels um, the severe weather. Let's see. Joshua Duane, I should ask, how bad will it be for Jackson? I work in a hospital, just want to know. So um, let's, let's go back to for Joshua uh, to Jackson. Let's go back to the radar forecast. Um, remember, this model has been running about an hour or two too early on storms. So this is what it says is 3 o'clock. So I'll call this 1 to 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. So Jackson, Joshua, you're looking at uh, probably, you know, probably a couple of rounds, 3 to 6. And yes, you can use, lose power. And from what I'm told, that's a real mess at a hospital. Uh, Joe Lakowski, um, once we get through this rain mess, I'll put up a chart for how much rain we've had in Michigan so far. So here's today, a lot of places, upper 80s. Tomorrow, upper 80s to near 90. Friday, probably the hottest day, 90 to 95, a lot of 94 and 95, southern half of the state. And remember, another disturbance coming, so that will fuel severe weather. Outdoor wedding in Frankie Muth, 6.30 Friday evening. Let's just keep the fingers crossed. Um, you know, it, it could be later than that. Uh, this is Saturday, starting to cool Sunday. Look at that mid to upper 70s and Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, we start to get back into the 80s and Thursday and Friday. So very kind of regular pattern developing on this. Uh, remember, today we have the possibility of damaging winds. I expect the storm scenario to really blossom. Um, what we have is very warm, humid air just to our south in Illinois and Indiana. And that is expected to surge northward into the southwest quarter of the state, let's say, by early afternoon. The longer the storms hold off, as is often the case, the more severe they could be because the humidity and the fuel for these storms will get into a place ahead of them, and then the storms can use that energy. So it's pretty well, um, you know the timeline, and I'll just keep you updated on this. Be ready as a squall line approaches. You're going to want to move inside your house. Um, hail, you're going to want to have your cars in the garage today. And uh, just do the common sense things of taking cover when this is coming through. And we will all get through it A-OK. -okay. And look forward to much cooler, drier air. For those of you that don't like the stickiness of summer, that's coming for the weekend. I'm M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregro. So you're probably going to see me a few times this afternoon. I would bet on it big time. Uh, so I'll keep you updated. Thanks for joining me. Take care.